Because sometimes there can be so much noise online with cancel culture and everything yeah. happening. Like, I always want to take a beat. We're just tired of social issues hurting innocent people. And yeah, they should definitely be canceled. And you know that. Kim Kardashian canceled her own husband. <laughs> her own husband. Okay? But she could not cancel Balenciaga. People got mad at that. So it's like, I'm, they're mad if I don't speak out. Basing on everything that has been going on, have you ever wondered why Kim Kardashian is so against cancel culture to an extent that she has ever called it ridiculous and that it's not a real thing? Let's jump into it to understand what exactly I'm talking about. But before even anything else, I want to thank you guys for your endless engagements. Oh my god, have been receiving a lot of love, most so because of my previous videos, and I will tell you, I really appreciate your support thank you for everyone that has been keeping up we really appreciate you and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for join us so that you can always get updated on what is really going on and you get to know exactly all the tea so if i even talk about cancel culture obviously we can't miss out kim kardashian and if it comes to hollywood and the celebrities that deserve to be canceled kim kardashian tops the list like the simple fact that she didn't say anything within the first 24 hours of that campaign airing out tells me absolutely everything I need to know. Firstly, because of the endless scandals she has been involved in. If you have been very very keen and of course if you have been following all the videos have been bringing you yesterday we discussed all the scandals we discussed that you know what kim kardashian is going down she is no longer relevant and of course many people are not even interested about anything concerning her secondly because of the many innocent people she has taken advantage of and or is moving away from everything okay if i look at all the men and of course if i look at all the people kim kardashian has always been coming out and you know her and her family they have taken advantage of a lot of people in hollywood let me even talk about ray J because he is the clear example we're gonna go with the first one because the first one is better it gives my daughter a better look than the second one that i made y'all go do but you watched it we saw that last year he came out with a lot of allegations and according to him he, will, he was like you know what the kardashians are very very wealthy yes they have a lot of money but all the grown-up tips you saw circulating on social media of me and kim kardashian that was a mega plan of chris jenner and of course kim herself they understood exactly what was going on and basically they planned it all so if i look at such innocent people like ray j i will tell you yes they are leaving the yes they are there but they are victims of the kardashians and thirdly because right now people are so tired of her kardashian family they have a lot of skeletons being displayed of but the yes that girl sells her soul every single goddamn day and so does her mother so does everybody right but the mega question is why is it that every time kim kardashian talks about cancel culture she puts it down and makes it seem like people who believe in it are off because she fears to be next on the list this woman knows all the evil things she has been doing over the years because if you ask me i will tell you we have a lot of celebrities we have a lot of influential people and when it comes to cancel culture they have been always coming out and viewing out their honest opinions and they're like you know what if someone is not do if someone is doing something which is out of line if someone is doing something which is wrong obviously that person needs to be counseled if you ask me i also have the same opinion but again when it comes to this woman i'm going to be giving you all the scenarios where she has always been against this on a lot of interviews and come always coming out and shedding cancel culture i would tell you she fears to be cancelled because she knows what exactly she does she is very very afraid when it comes to her family when it comes to all the things that they have been doing and automatically they know that you know what people don't like us people have been identifying a lot of mistakes people have been keeping quiet and it's time to react so if we see her right now making it seem like you know what people need second chances oh my god people have to be 
are forgiven people have to people deserve to reflect on everything they have been doing wrong come on how many times do they need to reflect on all their mistakes because this is not the first time we are seeing the kardashians being in numerous scandals but it was more so because y'all gave her so much heat that she was afraid she was going to lose her fan base and to top it all off she wants to say she's reevaluating her relationship with balenciaga at least by this time we expected them to reflect on everything they have been doing over the years but i will tell you they just manipulate the public they just manipulate all the fans they that follow them and obviously they have been doing a lot of wrong things if you think her coming out recently and talking ill about people who cancelled balenciaga was the first one well that is not the case so let me take you back in 2019 when kim revealed that the era of cancel culture is not a real thing this was an interview on the vulture chat with jonathan van meta she was asked to view her opinion about people's disgust with most billionaires do you know what she said let me first read you that part she was like yeah well i think lately people are just mad in general the era of cancel culture is not really a real thing they say it and doesn't happen have always believed in second chances and not canceling people it's really a weird time so this was her response because at that time you know the issue was as that you know what people are coming out with cancel culture is becoming very very serious a lot of elites a lot of a lot of celebrities are being canceled in hollywood most of the billionaires people say you guys when you attain money when you attain wealth there are some things which you do which are always out of line and according to her she even went an extent and she was like you know what that's not a real thing and i even don't believe in that i believe in second chances this was her excusing herself because of her mistakes and of course expecting people to still be giving her second chances without learning from her mistakes that was enough from me first of all was kim kardashian talking about second chances and not canceling people the same woman that canceled kanye without a second doubt keeping in mind this woman is the queen of campaigning and making herself look good and having the perfect responses to things so she's riding on the anti-cancel culture this is very very annoying because if it comes to kanye oh my god we know the extent at which kim kardashian and her family have been going in order to destroy his name we all remember when they came out on social media mostly on their instagram accounts and of course they claimed that they were siding with a lot of people and of course they were against everything concerning kanye that he was anti-semitic and of course they agree with a lot of and of course they don't agree with his hate they don't agree with people hating each other and of course they are spreading love okay can we even give it a pause because if kim kardashian and her family came out and claimed that they were understanding the situation i will tell you that was all a lie they just took advantage of kanye's situation the man was going through a lot kim kardashian this was your husband at a certain point you guys share four whole kids kanye west was there for you he did a lot of things for the kardashian family but again she didn't even have any second thoughts okay what is the second chancing she was talking about because we expected that at a certain point maybe she was going to come out and she's like you know what for everything that kanye has been uh, facing and of course he has been going through please give him a second chance you guys you're not supposed to come out on social media and of course boycott him and of course talk ill against him well that was not the case so this is a woman talking about cancel culture and of course letting them realize their mistakes okay that is not what she has been doing over the years still the same person that tried so hard for people to cancel tyra swift way back in 2016 over a leaked call it almost cost tyler her career okay no i feel like we've all moved on okay you don't have to forgive and you don't have to forget to move on. You can move on without any of those things happening. You just become indifferent and then you move on. This was also a big scenario and according to the situation by then, Tara Swift came out and of course complained about some lines which Kanye West included in his song and according to the lines, they were very, very inappropriate and she was like, you know what, I was not told about that and automatically I even didn't know exactly what Kanye was planning to include in his song. Well, 
Kim Kardashian came out on social media and attacked Taylor and she was like, you know what? He, she is just manipulating Kanye. She exactly knew what was really going on and of course she needs to be cancelled. Okay, she came out with a lot of complaints by then. She came out with a lot of false narratives concerning Taylor Swift and I will tell you that was not really good. At a certain point, Swift came out on social media and she was like, you know what? Why would you advise people to cancel me over something which I was not even aware about? Come on, that is not even right. I will tell you, this woman right here, I'm talking about Kim Kardashian. Maybe she had something against Tyler and of course, she found this as a very good advantage to end her career and of course bringing it out on twitter and encouraging people to cancel her out okay she is the same person coming out right now and telling us that you know what we are not supposed to cancel anyone oh my god if people come out and do certain mistakes if people come out and do things which they are not aware about they deserve second chances i will tell you this woman does not deserve any second chance kim's biggest fear is to get cancelled and that is why she has over the years been giving weak excuses and noting and not taking a strong stance when it comes to certain situation when it comes to balenciaga she again did apologize no take ownership she just gaslighted her way out as usual she is getting cancelled this time around so basically i think by this time you understand why this woman is very very afraid of castle culture this is not the first time she has been coming out numerously talking about it in case people on social media come out and they're like you know what we are going we are just going to cancel her and everything she always strategizes certain interviews and of course comes out pretending to be crying pretending to be hurting and of course understanding the situation i will tell you by now we know all the kardashian tactics send me all your comments i want to know what you think about all that don't forget to subscribe if you haven't